because we have to end the vlog with the leaf blower in the rain. <laughs> just in case you thought he'd got away, I just got bored of filming him, but as it's the last vlog today, it's leaf blower guy. Just about see his foot down there. Right down, right down there. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the last day of Vlogtober. It's the 31st, happy Halloween. Um, and I've squared off my blanket. So I thought I'd just show you this. So it's 18 squares by 17 squares, which is 306 squares. And no, I did not do that in my head. I looked it up before I started. And on the date duration calculator, today is 305. So I am one square in credit, which means I have lost a square at some point this month. Um, but you know these things happen I won't gain it now not with all that I've got knitting going on so that's what it's looking like so it's getting getting quite big I can't get it all in the camera my arms aren't long enough good morning Oh, I've just been sorting out details for a Zoom that I'm on later on. And then um, I need to sort out my shopping order for tomorrow because we're having a roast dinner tomorrow. We're having um, a small joint of beef and a small joint of lamb because I really like beef, but some of the family doesn't. And they really like lamb and I'm not so keen. So I could do two small ones. <laughs> compromise um, so I need to make sure I put it on my shopping order so that was my priority um, this morning and then once I've got that done I am going to sit here and watch Lord of the Rings um, or The Hobbit I'm on the second film and um, knit on my mitts um, then later on when I'm on the zoom call I'm going to finish off the jumper I'm on the ribbing which I think only needs a couple more you can't see that it's navy blue or maybe you can oh it's not too bad um, I just need to see a couple more rounds and then it's cast off so in the end, and then to hopefully this will be done today, so it will technically be finished. It won't be technically, it will be finished in October. I suppose it's technical, so I won't have blocked it today. I'm not going to, I'm, yeah, I need to work out how I'm going to block these, actually. Um, and then I'm going to start Charlie's tomorrow. So hopefully you'll see that on the podcast. And then if I get that done, I'm going to work on the um, knit vent project I'm doing because... I didn't realise yesterday um, the um, clue that I was doing was actually two clues. <laughs> so I nearly did double what I needed to, but I didn't, I stopped. So I'll have that to carry on with should I run out of knitting. And if I get that finished and that finished, the meeting went on too long. <laughs> um, so then later on um, tonight I'm going to carry on with my... Um, Mitt. So I want to show you this, but I can't show you the, the actual pattern for obvious reasons. But that is how I'm dealing with working out which row I'm on. That is washi tape. <laughs> uh, and normally I have it on my iPad, not my iPad, my Kindle Fire. But I just haven't set it up yet. And I keep going to knit on it and I'm like, oh, I still haven't set this up. So I might try and do that as well today. Um... Yeah, so I might try and get that sorted. <sighs> Too many things to do, not enough time with which to do them. <laughs> um, so I want to get that done this morning. Uh, I've got a coffee that I've just made that I left in the other room, so I'm going to re-get with that. You might have heard the leaf blower was still going on. <laughs> Come downstairs, sorted out this meeting, made coffee, and there's, he was still going. <laughs> However, I kind of let him off today. I'll be honest. It is really blowy here, like absolutely blowing a hoolie and um i'm not sure there'll be any leaves left on the trees by the end of today so kind of let him off because there are leaves everywhere um so yeah kind of i might give him today in fact one of our i've just noticed one of our guy ropes is out on the um event shelter at the bottom garden might need to go and put that back on otherwise that's going to come out Ian's just on the phone, so once he's finished, I'll divert him to the garden and go, could you just go, you know, stop our event shelter from blowing away? Oh, it's proper going for it, actually. <laughs> Oops. 
so that's what my day's looking like i'm going to sort my shopping order out and then i'm going to sit and watch the hobbit and knit all my mitts and not feel guilty about the fact i'm not running around like a lunatic and doing all the housework and everything else because quite frankly this is my this is my day off literally i'm going to have this period between now and the meeting tomorrow i was cooking dinner um you know it's just like it's go 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 so i sit down like this at 10 o'clock of the morning and think oh this is really naughty i should be doing x y and z but do you know what this morning i refuse to feel guilty about it um i'm just going to say about my jumper because i keep getting asked every time what the jumper is i'm wearing so i kind of need to not assume everybody knows so this is the ingrid um sweater which is a pattern by isabel kramer um it has actually got one more colour in the colour work than I have used. So if you can see there where it's got the green, which is the main colour, or the blue, whichever colour you'd like to call it, mint. Um, that's supposed to be a different colour, but this is all from Deep Stash. It is a Serdar Sublime Cashmere Silk Merino, um, which sounds like it should be horrendous for colour work because it's got silk in it. But as you can see, it really wasn't. It worked really well. Um, and I wouldn't, I wasn't going to buy another ball of yarn, another colour. So I just put um, the main colour in there because it doesn't touch this main colour in either side. I thought I could get away with it. And there's a pale pink in the middle there. Um, and there's like a, a green as well in it. Um, yeah, and I really, I really like this. I love this sweater. Um, I would definitely make another one. Definitely. Um, I haven't got enough colours for another one at the moment. I'm trying to use my stash because, you know, if I don't start knitting my stash, I'm never going to get it knit, am I? Um, yeah, so that's my day. I'm going to get on with this shopping order now before I forget the two things I have to put on my shopping order, which I'm going to say now, I may very well edit it out later on, but just to remind myself, I need to put the meat on for tomorrow and I need to put in hair conditioner because I'm completely out. <laughs> so hopefully when I'm editing this later if I've forgotten to do that this will remind me um, <laughs> I can't believe it's the end oh my goodness who am I going to talk to without talking to you lot for the next week um, oh dear uh, but I have you know it, it's literally only a month and then vlogmas and then um, obviously I have the normal podcast in between times so I'm kind of looking forward to doing that again um, the new Christmas format podcast <laughs> I'm going to get on getting the shopping order ordered and um, then I'm going to go and watch the desolation of smog <laughs>
lovely Zoom call with some friends. I'll do another podcast one at some point in the very near future, probably early November. Um, I'll talk about that on the podcast. But look, I've got some things to show you. It's done. I mean, it's not blocked. I've got to block it. But it's finished. So, I got it done in October, minus the blocking, but you know, hey, you can't have any, everything. So what I thought I might do is get Charlie to try on this style and the other style that I did for Meg and see which one she prefers. And then I'll do whichever one she wants. Because I don't think there's an awful lot quicker doing it in the round as it was in pieces, to be fair. Interesting experiment, but because it's in Tarsia in the round, that's a bit fiddly. Um, However, I am going to use that sweater style for, um, I've got some really nice Aran weight indie dye gel. I'm going to make myself a sweater. So there's that one. I am working on my, look away if you haven't done the knit vent. Um, this is clue two and three, because today is clue three. So that's that. Um, and that's what, what I'm doing. It's um, striping two yarns together, but actually quite similar in colour, so not quite as obvious, but it's very pretty, very pink. Um, so yeah, that's that, and I'm getting great guns with this, which is still in a very precarious yarn, but I need to find this in a proper bag, really, but the birdie is definitely emerging now. Can you see? Somebody said to me, um, who was it? Someone said to me on yesterday's vlog, am I going to be able to part with this? The only reason I'm going to be able to part with this is because I know the person this is going to will appreciate it so much. Um, otherwise, I probably would have struggled parting with it, but I may make myself some next year as well. But uh, yeah, absolutely love it. So hopefully, shortly, well, when you next see this, this will have um, a head and hopefully be finished. <laughs> because it will be on the podcast because sadly this is the end of it now the other thing I had to show you was I had some happy mail yesterday so the lovely Nikki from the stitchery did a kickstarter early on this year and um, the package has come through today it's called Kindred Spirits and I haven't opened it yet so you're going to see it at the same time as me. Doesn't want to open. There we go. Oh, pretty. Oh, wow. So it comes with enough material to make it. I think it's a cushion. So there's there's lots of material. And that's the design. It's in these beautiful colours. So we've got these those two are the same colour and then these are all different. So that's the floss. I'll get to this out makes me want to embroider but I really have not got time to embroider it at the moment. I have got a Christmas Eve um, embroidered box coming from the stitchery which I'm very much looking forward to doing. So yes, oh I might have to learn how to sew to put the cushion together. There's a I'm guessing we used it ties, maybe? But yes, so there's enough linen provided to make the embroidery into a cushion with an envelope closure at the back. That's going to be fun. I mean, I do have a sewing machine, so I might try hand stitching it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I shall look forward to doing it, but I don't think that will be going on until the summer next year, if I'm honest. Because, um... I've got a small mini um, Christmas kit I want to do. I need to finish off my journal cover because that hasn't happened. I can't see that happening this side of Christmas either and the journal finishes at Christmas so 
<laughs> it might get its um, cover in retrospect. Um, yeah. So there's that. Ooh. Otherwise, today has literally just been missing. I've had a lovely day of just catching up with friends, which has been lovely, catching up with everybody on the Zoom and um, chatting and putting the world to rights. And of course, um, when you watch this tomorrow, you will know that we are, it's half five, so we're waiting for an announcement here in England as to whether we're going into lockdown, which looks very likely until the 2nd of December. So I don't know what that's going to mean for us as a family. Um, I think that might mean I'll end up with kids not living at home for a little while, which is going to be fun. Customary uh, edit out of yawn there because it's getting to that time of night. So that is very much what I've been working on. So next week I will record the podcast on Thursday. So it'll be up next Sunday as usual. Um, I don't know what format it'll be in. I don't know if it'll be in the knitting project format or whether it'll just be in this is what I've knit this week because the only thing I've knit is mitts. Um, I'll have a lot of stuff to show from other sections that I finished though so I might just do that because I'll have all the hats and things which I know if you've been watching the vlogs might be a bit boring because you've seen them all um, but some people I know don't watch the vlogs they only like the podcast so I'd like to give them a roundup of what I've done if that's okay hopefully you won't mind um, yeah it just remains for me to say thank you because you have been amazing and um i think i said this yesterday i really feel like i've made some friends and um i've got to know my viewers which has been fab fabulous i mean i just literally did this i started the podcast i need to stop swinging on my chair i'm really sorry um i started the podcast as um a way of chatting about my knitting to people that might actually understand because my family are fed up with hearing about it um and it kind of grew from there. I never really expected anybody to be interested. So the fact that people are is just brilliant. And the fact that you like my family as well is obviously that's amazing. Um, they're a bunch of nutters, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, it's only when I've done some of the videoing, I've been watching it back in editing. Believe me, you don't see it all. Um, I realise just how much of a nutter family I've got. But... Um, yeah, they're good kids. I'm really lucky with my girls. They are fab. Um, and they don't give me too much trouble. Yeah. What you see pretty much was what you get. Um, you, you kind of saw it. I think there was the odd comment as well that you heard of the girls bantering backwards and forwards. Um, occasionally the banter gets a bit out of control, but normally they're pretty good. Um, <laughs> they're good kids. But yeah, um so podcast we've got the jumper cow still going on so um you know if you're getting those jumpers done we've got some fabulous prizes the lovely um loan who is a lonely sock lady has donated two sweater quantities of yarn um as prizes so they're up for grabs come january um there's also a giant sweater bag which um the lovely joe who is so can joe um also donated so that's up for a prize as well um, we've got the Square A Day Cow going on. I did check in today, which should be somewhere on this video. Thank you for all the get well wishes for my migraine. The good news is it has cleared from one side of my face. This side is no longer numb. This side still is. Um, that will take a couple of days to wear off. I keep turning this on to record and then interrupting myself out of it. I can't even remember what I've said now. <laughs> Oh dear, this is absolutely stunning end to the Vlogtober, isn't it? Um, so thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. Um, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to Vlogmas. It's not that far away now, is it? So that's going to be cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all for the normal podcast come next weekend. So the first one should be the um mum 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 she says looking very quickly the 8th of november should be the first one right i'm gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for joining me doing this and i will see you again soon you're going to bed Debs. yeah where are we going 
We going in there? Are we? We going in there? Oh, I need to put some lights on. Right, now where do you want to go? Are you going to go on the bed? That's my feet. That doesn't really work. You can't really cuddle my feet. Are you coming up? There we go. <laughs> Her nightly cuddles. You know you get cuddles at this time of night, don't you? I mean, we could do this all day, but you choose not to. <laughs> Cutest little thing. Right, I'm going to get ready for bed.